Cerulean City Pokemon Gym, Lita Misty, the tomboyish mermaid. Psh, we all know mermaids can't walk on land. Hey, what's up everyone, it's Darren the Ultimates here playing Pokemon Soul Silver. So yeah, on the last episode, um, we went here, we reached here in Cerulean City, and uh, we kind of messed up Misty's date. But anyway, she's back here at the gym, and now it's time to face her. Uh, as you as you can see, she's a water type gym leader, of course. And, uh, yeah, let's actually get started with these guys over here first. Glub, I'm first. Come and, come and get me. Uh, okay. So this guy, I guess he's pretty weirded out. Uh, I think his mindset isn't, like, as it should be, because he's in a gym full of women, so he doesn't know how to react, so... <laughs> Um, yeah. So, yeah, we have this a horsey. I'm surprised a horsey at level 43. It's kind of embarrassing, considering that Cedra evolves at, like, level 32. Oh, but he has a Cedra, so forget about it. And as you guys know, that Volti is going to be the most viable Pokemon at this gym, the MVP. Um, because, you know, he's an electric type. So, he's pretty much going to be, like, blasting through everybody in this gym. Um, I'm actually not going to use, uh, Volti a lot, uh, with these trainers here, I, mainly because I want to train my other ones too, but he, I, I will be using Volti, um, uh, in the gym, in the gym badge, of course, I mean the gym leader, of course, but anyway, we took down Cedra here, and that is it, Volti levels up. Level 47. Everybody is slowly but surely reaching level 50. My team is coming together nice. Ah, Alright. Let me switch my Pokemon here. Uh, let's see who should I pick out. Everybody is level 47 and up, so that's that's great. Um, I guess I'll put out Omega out front. So, let's do this. Alright, so I think this is the last guy that's on land. I've been relaxing poolside, so I've got enough strength. So, all the girls are swimming and all the guys are just like sitting there. Uh, just standing there. All bored and stuff. But this guy's a zoomer roll, and zoomers can be pretty dangerous. Let me brick brick it. And let's see how much that does. Whoa. Good job, Omega. Um. Oh, that did nothing. Let's do this. Break, break. This guy's Azumarill is extremely weak. Or it could be that Omega is extremely strong. Or it can be both. Conspiracy. No. <laughs> Alright, let me stop. You can't win with stuff alone. Uh, I know that. I have, like, how many badges do I have? Wait, hold on, let me check real quick. I have a whole lot of badges. I have 12 badges. Awesome. So, I guess I pretty much know that you can't win with Stuff Alone because of all the badges I have, and I didn't win with all Stuff Alone. You need to be uh, smart, too. Sorry about being away. Let's get on with this. With it. Yeah, it turns out that all the trainers here were all gone when Misty was gone, but as soon as Misty came in, they somehow teleported there or something. Um, I don't even know. Oh, this guy's a gold duck. Um, I'm actually going to use close combat. Just annihilate. See how much that does. Wow, one hit KO. Good job. Like a boss. I give up. You're the winner. That's what she said. Anyway, let's uh, <laughs> let's uh, go over here and face this chick here. These girls really love to swim. Come here, girl. Battle me. Swimming is, isn't is just about speed. It's also about beauty of grace. The beauty of grace. See, it's always girls that gotta, got, that gotta make stuff all girly and unboyish. Oh, this chick has a cloister. Yeah, this cloister is water and ice, I think. So, Brick Brick should be super effective and should take it out. Yep, I was right. It just took... Oh, it survived. I forgot Cloyster has great 
has great uh, defense. And why would you use a tract? Really? Really? Ah! Haha! -ha. Omega has no feelings. <laughs> Omega is too strong to have feelings. What is wrong with you? The only person he loves is me because I made him what he is today. I lost beautifully. Yeah, you did. You lost to your clan being chopped in half. That sounds so wrong. Uh, <laughs> don't get nervous watching my magnificent swimming. Oh, I thought she was going to say body at first. I was about to say this girl is conceited. But uh, here we have Sea King. So yeah, let's take this Sea King out with a brick brick, shall we? Sea King can be pretty dangerous. Uh, with its, uh, it's, yeah, it's a pretty dangerous Pokemon. Like, at first I underestimated it, but now I know it's, like, it's pretty strong. But, um, anyway. Yeah, just go ahead and prove me wrong by just, like, taking, like, one-tenth of my HP. But anyway, easy win, easy win. Almost on level 49. And he has another Sea King. And you know what I feel like doing? I'ma feel like doing a closer combat. And that is it for Sea King. So yeah, now that's it for all the trainers. And now we can actually face Misty. Awesome. And Omega's level 49. Coolio. He wants to learn faints. I forgot what faint does. Uh, let me read it. An attack that hits a foe using protect or detect. It also lifts the effects of those moves. Eh, nah. Why? Why is he using like learning faint so late in the in the game? Like, that's that's ridiculous. His move set is like it's good, but it's it's like all over the place. Anyway, uh, now let's switch up with uh to Volti here. So yeah, Volti is level 47, Tsunami is level 47, Flame is level 49, Lucky is level 48, Abby is level 48, and Omega is level 49. So yeah, let's face Misty. I was expecting you, you pest. You may have a lot of Johto gym badges, but you better not take me too lightly. My water type Pokemon are tough. Let me be the judge of that, Misty. So yeah, yeah, this is Misty. She looks different. She looks way hotter than she does than she did before. But now, yeah, she has a gold duck. So yeah, I guess she's she's trying to fill up that space that Ash left um, when he actually left her. So sad. But anyway, uh, let's use Thunder Punch here. She starts off with the only pure Water type on her team, which is a gold duck. Um. But yeah, but Volti, good thing Volti here can take a hit like a boss. And uh, hopefully take, oh wow, more than half. One more Vo Thunder Punch should do it. Oh, she ripped through it. Who's she using? Quagsire. Wow. That was actually pretty smart of her. Um, Yeah, I have nothing against Quagsire because Quagsire's defense, I mean, weakness is, uh, is grass. And I have no grass. Pokemon no grass moves. So I'm just use a mega here and hope for the best. Earthquake, of course. Hopefully Omega can take it. Oh oh yeah, it's not super effective. <laughs> I totally forgot. But anyway, let me use counter. Ah, I think Earthquake is a special attack move. I shouldn't have used counter. I'ma just hit him with close combats now. I just wanted to try it out because I didn't really get to use it. Oh, it is a physical move well I was wrong completely all right uh, let me just go heal up Omega real quick and then I'll start attacking uh, yeah I bought some items off screen so yeah now Omega's is fully healed now it's time to face the wrath oh crap I forgot about rain dance ah oh, holy crap Rain Dance just boosts up um, uh, water moves. So the water moves is going to take a whole lot of damage. But at least we took down Quagsire. Alright, Quagsire is down. And I'm guessing she's going to uh, go right back to her Golduck. 
So let me switch back into Ampharos or Volti, as you guys know her. And Volti, you better go kick some butt with one more Thunder Punch for the win. Oh, this Water Pulse, water pulse is going to take a whole lot because of this Brain Dance. Ah. Uh, Wow, and I'm confused. Perfect. That's what I needed to be confused. And it hurt itself, well, of course. So, let me use a hyper potion. Because Vaulty is not losing to no gold up. And then after that, I'm going to uh, just hit him, hopefully, hit him with a thunder punch and not get hit by confusion. This water pulse is gonna take a whole lot of damage. Wow, critical hit. Awesome. Freaking great. So I'm gonna hit it one more time. <laughs> I'm really not trying to take no chances. Yeah, me saying that as me being the risk taker. But I'm not trying to take any chances. I'm not trying to let Vulti uh, faint right now. But this water pulse is like really dangerous. But this is the last time I'm gonna hit it though. Uh, if it faints, it just faints. But still. Uh, let's see. Alright. Oh, yes, the rain stopped. It is over. It is over. Oh, psychic. Forgot it had that. Oh, crap. Alright. Come on, Vaulty. Come on, Vaulty. Yes! Golduck. Gold. Her gold duck is down. Thank you, Vaulty. I kind of doubted you there for a second. But now she has a Lapras. Yes, she has a freaking Lapras. Water and Ice. One of the best uh, Ice Pokemon in my opinion. The Lapras is freaking awesome. I would love to have a... If I ever had a Water Pokemon, it would be a Lapras. Big break! Yeah, Lapras has some crazy defense too. As you can see, the, her health is going down like really, really slowly. Sing, of course. Good thing I bought some full heals, and since Omega is faster, um, as long as Omega can survive any of her hits, that should be it for um, her Lapras here. So let me use a full heal. Oh, Ice Beam. Oh, okay, I see. Um, Omega should be able to take that pretty well. Okay. Now that's it for her Lapras. Omega might actually reach level 50 before Flame does. And Flame is my starter. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. Everybody's levels up on their own pace. But anyway, she has a Starmie, which is a Warden Psychic type. The last one of her team. Um, let me see if Vulti can take her out. I'm, I'm going to try and see if I can use uh, Thunder on, um, on Starmie. Yeah, this time is level 54. is pretty strong. Hmm, you're pretty good. Ah, uh, yeah. Ice Beam. Can Afro survive? Uh, yes. Ah, oh, but it missed. Oh, oh well. I'll just heal it up. And then I'll just hit it with... I'll try and hit it with a Thunder. Because I didn't see Thunder in a while. And, I, and once in a while, I like to see its animation. If that makes any sense. Ah, uh, water pulse. If they, if this was a, uh, uh, rain dance was still active, I probably would have um, took a lot. Uh, I would have took a whole lot more damage. Ah, confused Ray. Are you kidding me? Ampharos was just confused, dude. Storm is a freaking troll. Come on, come on, Vaulty. Yes, and it hit. Thirty percent accuracy for the win. And I just realized that Thunder is a uh, hundred percent. When the brain dance is on, critical hit! Oh my gosh, Vaulty, you are a boss. Looks like this is it. Yes, it is. None of my Pokemon have fainted. Yes, you really are good. I admit that you are skilled. Here you go. It's the Cascade badge, and we get the Cascade badge from Misty. Yes. Here's another memento from this battle. Take it. And it's TM03, which is Water Pulse, most likely. Yes. It can sometimes confuse your foe. You managed to defeat trainers all the way from Johto. I'm sure you can have a good use for it. Of course I will. Like, 
I mean, come on, dude. But anyway, uh, let's swim back, and yeah, that will be it for this episode. So yeah, this is a pretty good battle. Um, none of my Pokemon fainted or nothing. So yeah, this this battle was uh, it, and it was pretty epic too. Um, I actually didn't think that I was gonna take uh her her Quagsire uh so well actually. But anyway, we out of Cerulean City, and yes, it is nighttime. And my mom is calling me. She always calls me whenever I'm about to end the episode. But whatever. All right, guys. Uh, this is it. On the next episode, we're gonna progress on. Here in the Johto region, this has been Darren the Ultimate. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.